no better time than to start the video yep. here. I think it's a good time. As you know, I'm Peter Milliken. This is Paul. Paul. Prince. Only got one name. Today, where are we going, Paul? We're going to go to work in Brighton. And today <laughs> I'm VT artist. editing a very talented a graffiti artist. What time are you arriving? Uh, so what are we, uh, <laughs> what graffiti are we doing there? What are we graffitiing <laughs> today, Paul? There's a guy that wants... He's doing a barbershop and he wants a Mexican thing. First things I'm excited about is... Being kidnapped. He's being kidnapped. I see this kind of work and then I have to go somewhere and then all of a sudden I come back an hour later and there's this amazing painting. Yeah, I, I think he does it on the computer. But now I'm going to prove that theory wrong. We're going to go and buy some white and black paint so we've got enough to do this skull because I haven't got enough. Alright. Hello. So we are getting some paint today to do this job. You have to do it on my phone. So that's uh, one of the uh, special arrow paintings. So now we're heading to Hove. We've uh, picked up the paint. Yeah. We've got a little bag of spray cans. We're just going to muck about, make people laugh. A bag of uh, spray cans is going to turn a, a, a wall in a shop into a feature wall. You know, earn some money, have a laugh. He's going to be happy. We're going to be happy. It's just going to be a nice environment. He makes nice it sound time. so easy. The guy said he wanted a Mexican themed barbershop painting. So if you think about Mexican themes, yeah. you know, you think about low rider cars, you think about uh, Day of the Dead skulls painted on things, you think of sombreros, you think of all the cliches. Yeah. So we, in a short discussion I've had with him, we've decided that we want something that people will recognise and understand crossed with those things so I think one of the most interesting skull references is the Peralta Ripper skull you know that tears through from the beginning of the Pal Peralta video yeah. so I've shown him that he thinks that's great so we're gonna take the Pal Peralta skeleton face then I'm gonna put Day of the Dead makeup on top of that <laughs> face and then we're gonna do him with a razor and scissors you know in almost like a pastiche on the on the original reference so it's there's almost no point in drawing it because as long as you can draw the face makeup yeah. and you can draw the skull and you can make up those other things the job will work so there's no point in me spending two hours drawing it out for me then to go to work yeah, and, go and paint it again there's no point yeah. so this is going to be the uh, wall that's going to be painted literally just sketched there an outline with some uh, white paint. I'm so excited. So this is why it's quite exciting when you're watching someone doing some work. The uh, process of how it's transforming into something pretty damn cool. Well, that was an exciting day. Where are we going now? Well, you know, I don't, I don't need to get nervous. God, that was really hard work doing all of that. <laughs> that camera weighs quite a lot. So now we're heading... Um, what? I don't know. Where are we heading? Well, you know, I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Um, I could. 
probably gonna, push myself. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you the best food ever. Oh. Do you like fish and chips? I, I'll be honest with you. I, I quite fancy fish and chips. Well, we'll have fish and chips then. Do you like fish? Do you like chicken nuggets? Mm. They make homemade chicken nuggets, the best chicken I, nuggets I, I've ever I had will, in my life. I will get there and decide what I have. Do you know what? That's wild, Pete. Do you know what I mean? I like this new wild, Pete. Exactly. So, Killer Pete. Killer Pete, or AKA Pete Comet. And now, AKA. Wild man. <laughs> wild man. <laughs> he's out there. So. He's, he's the wild man. He's a gastronaut. <laughs> he's out there on the very edge. The very edge of the atmosphere. So where is it we're going? Oh, it's only about five minutes away, so I'm not taking fast. What's it called? Right? Wolfie's best fish and chips I've ever eaten in my life. We're going to Wolfie's. And the people are really lovely. What you're going to do now is you're going to make some new friends. That's okay. the other beauty of this. I'm off they've, to make new They've friends. got impeccable taste in music. The people are really lovely, and it's a family run business. So, all the things I like about going somewhere good. Also, little side note, when the Prodigy did their last concert in England, they'd heard that Wolfie's was the best fish and chips in England, and on their rider, they demanded Wolfie's fish and chips no. to be delivered to the Brighton Centre, and that's what the Prodigy had for dinner before they performed. So <laughs> there you go. You're like a, a mind of information. I love shit like that though, don't you? Yes, I do. So that means we're gonna go and have the same fish and chips that the Prodigy had. Wee! Buy a starter. <laughs> Buy a starter. So Buy someone it. like my auntie, who doesn't have a smartphone, yeah. how does she park here? She can't, there's no meter. No, no, there's no meter. They've got rid of the meters in this bit. You can only use the app on the phone, which is quite amazing because it's also taking ages to process the payment, so. There's so much call for errors. I like to have a physical. Also, it's a pound an hour to park, but when you use the app, it's an extra 25 feet fee for using the app. So because you're using a 25% yeah. increase on the parking cost, which I think is a bit of a fucking liberty. Pardon my for ruining your video by swearing. Well, I might have to believe it. That's... But to be honest with you, I think it's amazing how little swearing I have actually done today. You, yeah. I've, I've I mean, tried obviously, to hold it down for you. I can't. I can't stop Let's you. Go straight ahead. I and can't. The... Can't stop you swearing for the video. You could, oh my god, that bin! I oh know. That was an awful smell. That is a heavy stench. There is a problem. Try again. Oh. See, that's what I mean. There's a problem with the app that's now stopping him getting parking. Uh, yeah, and I don't know what the code number was. That's the Paul's trying to pay for parking. There's no meter. It's done on a code. And there's no internet access here. So that really, really makes sense, doesn't it? Right, Dave. See you later. Good to see you, man. Nice to meet you, man. Take care. We're only going down here to eat food and chicken anyway. With the new tables I picked up. <laughs> oh. oh, I see. Where's Mansi when we want to film her? Ah, oh, she's not into a fire. Ah. Oh. And it's good to keep, you know, Pete hasn't been in before, so. Nice to meet you, Pete. Thank you. Right, so Lewis. What exactly is in there? We've got Brussels sprouts and we've got uh, haddock in there with a bit of chilli powder. I'm going to add some smoked mackerel and some bacon lard on, some mashed potatoes fresh from our cafe. We're going to make some really, really nice homemade fish cakes today. So have you got any fish cakes on now? Actually, now that's done, I could whip, whip you one up and you could be able to taste it from you get the first one. I'm, I'm going to have a fish cake. I'm Oh, I'm completely full. Same. That's got to be the best fish and chips ever. Oh. That was very nice. It was the fact that it was squid and scampi. I wouldn't have thought, had, <laughs> had, had I not thought that was a chicken nugget, I probably wouldn't have put it in my mouth. But once <laughs> it was in, once it was, in <laughs> once it was in, I was happy. He laughed and he goes, is that chicken? <laughs> <laughs> no, please. It's not chicken, it's squid. <laughs> well, I've 
I've, I've not had squid, so. <laughs> we have now. I just thought it was grisly chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so for an extra bonus, I've expanded my repertoire. <laughs> oh dear. Well guys, my batteries have run out now. I've been uh, trying to charge them on the go, but both of them and also my small little camera completely run out of charge. So I've had to end the video here. I wanted to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I think you'll agree the Ripper graffiti is absolutely superb. So well done, Paul. I've really enjoyed my day. Thank you for inviting me out. And you guys, I will see you in the next video. Keep an eye out for this channel. There's going to be some uh, drastic changes over the next couple of months. And I'm really excited to tell you some news. So keep tuned. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. See you all soon.